Hello everyone, this is Anita Avai. In this time, I would like to present our research work, which is about inconsistency of simulation and practice in delay strong crops. This is a joint work with my advisor, Amir Moradi. Well, at first, I would like to give you a brief introduction about PAF and its applications, why we are using PAFs. In order to limit the secure memory usage and avoid the attacks on non-volatile memories, physical hardware primitives such as physical unclonable functions, PAFs, have been introduced to the world of the embedded devices two decades ago. Such functions supposedly provide a secure hardware platform with lightweight features, for example, low energy consumption or a small area footprint. These uh, fingerprint of devices uh, are using challenge response mechanism. This mechanism is the main approach of these one-way functions with a unique behavior for each path. In more detail, if I want to explain, it's that it's like that an ambit and unpredictable, stable, and unique response is answered to a random ambit challenge to create a set of challenge response per CRPs. It means that each path in idle conditions generates a re reliable, uniform, and a unique response, but not the predictable one. So I should highlight that our main focus here in this work uh, is strong lay based paths. So uh, in the path area, we have several challenges that we will talk about just uh, two of. The first one, is uh, ML attacks or machine learning attacks. According to the recent publications, um, machine learning attacks, or let's say pure machine learning attacks, are identified as the most common and effective threats, which can be performed with different classifier algorithm. As you can see uh, in the uh, left figure, uh, there are some uh, learners like logistic regression, software vector machines, decision trees, or using a uh, black box learning algorithm like ANN are usable in uh, PATH learnings. Actually, the goal of PATH modeling is to create a model of the same, uh, of the strong paths to generate the same response of the same given challenges to the uh, paths. So afterwards, we focus on the next challenging point, which is POPS hardware implementation, especially the delay-based ones. The most difficult challenge is to achieve an implementation with physical characteristics not far from the idle conditions. Along the same line, delay-based POPS are prone to environmental noise like temperature and supply voltage variation. This motivated the researchers to deal with various hardware implementations of delay-based POPS. Now, I think it's a proper time to talk about our motivation and collaboration. The main question is that, are all ML attacks in the simulation domain consistent with the same accuracy and success rate in the real world? To answer this question, we observe various, the most common delay-based path architectures uh, like Arbiter path and their evaluation matrix like uniformity or the opposite one bias. Uh, or other metrics like um, the uniqueness and reliability that can affect POPs robustness against the modern attacks. Uh, in this way, we choose uh, our case study as IPOP architecture from just 2019 and its classical LR-based attack as a splitting IPOP, which is again uh, presented in chess of 2020. Our uh, practice investigation uh, on real data sets collected from more than 100,000 various IPOP implementation from a 100 FPGA cluster. We will explain in more details in the next slides. So uh, one of the most uh, common strong POP primitive is Arbitar POP, which is applied in many delay-based POP architectures. As shown in this figure, the trigger signal should pass N stages, each of um, which is uh, controlled by challenge bit. At the end, an arbiter or a flip-flop decides the final response of the arbiter path, depending on which delay line is faster than the other one. So for a success path modeling, we need a proper path model. As you can see in this equation, 
which uh, in this equation, it is commonly used as a linear delay model of orbital pop. In this equation, you can see that uh, there is a ve ve vector of weights, that these weights represent the physical characteristic of each orbital pop switch. Also, you can see the feature vector, uh, which is derived from the given challenge C. At the end, the arbiter is presented as a unique sign function to decide the response should be zero or one. This additive linear model can be extended to other delay-based path primitives like X or arbiter path. In order to increase the complexity of um, the path model and boost the ML resistance, X or arbiter path has been applied as a fundamental element as well. We will uh, talk about uh, the XOR arbitral path and arbitral path in our case study architecture IPath later. So now it's a uh, time to give a brief um, background about uh, the two common learners LR and ANN, which is the most common in path in the strong path uh, modeling. Well, the goal of uh, LR or logistic regression, like other modeling algorithm, is to find the best fit and optimize model, models, which means um, a high prediction accuracy and also minimum error rate between the prediction um, answer or prediction output and the real output. So uh, by applying the proper activation function and enough iteration, as you can see here, for example, that the, it, uh, the LR can have uh, lots of these iterations, an efficient model can describe the good relationship between the output or dependent variable, which is here the path responses, and a set of um, independent variable, which is here the path challenges. Besides the classifier algorithms like the uh, mentioned logistic regression algorithm, ANNs or MLPs are also able to learn the path models with the same goal. This network consists of an input layer, an output layer, and several hidden layers, which depends on the complexity of the model can be extended or reduced. In this work, we have uh, chosen a composite path architecture, which has more complex model compared to the basic elements like arbitrary path. As illustrated here, this interposed path or IPOP architecture has two X or arbitrary path layers, top layers or X layer, X, X or layers, or bottom layer, Y, X or arbitrary paths. The one bit response of the top layer from N bit X, X or arbitrary paths plays the role of the interpose bit for the challenge set of the bottom layer. As a result, N plus one challenge bits are given to the bottom layer, uh, which is the N plus one bit Y X or arbitrary path to generate a single bit uh, final uh, response. In the original IPOF paper, it has been shown that uh, the classical LR or MLP attacks are not completely successful for XY IPOF. For instance, it has been shown that uh, the classical LR will be ended to maximum 75% prediction accuracy on different IPOF variants, in which it's not an uh, efficient accuracy. However, uh, in uh, CHESS 2020, splitting IPOF attack applies a divide and conquer method to successfully break different interposed path variants up to 1.9 and 8.8 uh, version. In a nutshell, this new LR splitting attack divides the X, uh, Y, IPOF into two X or arbitrary path components. As a first step, the attacker chooses, uh, chooses um, random uniform interpose bit for n plus uh, one bit challenge of the bottom layer. Then um, the attacker applies a classic LR attack on the bottom layer as a uh, divided uh, X or arbitrary path, and then just stops at a rough model uh, accuracy with the threshold of 65 uh, prediction accuracy. Then filter the, the CRP sets by choosing the correct interposed bit, uh, which is KS by the uh, not very accurate learn model from the bottom layer. Afterwards, in the fifth step, the attacker applies classic LR attack on the top layer with, uh, to achieve high accuracy. And here again, 
the attacker comes back to apply the classic LR attack on the bottom layer with the correct uh, predicted interpose speed. And this loop or this iteration can be happen multiple times to achieve a high accuracy. This uh, splitting uh, LR attack will be applied in our method to see how it can be uh, different in simulation and in the practice domain. Before that, I would like to explain a bit uh, about the FPGA implementation of delay-based orbital pops and its uh, variants. So, since our main goal is to analyze the effect of different path metrics on the efficiency of ML attack, especially in experimental domain, we need uh, to uh, investigate our assumption on real hardware implementation. Um, here, we will focus on FPGAs due to their reconfigurability and affordability in the market. So as presented uh, in the left figure, you can see our experimental setup, which uh, consists of 100 instances of um, buses board, uh, buses tree boards, uh, where a uh, Xilinx Arctic 7 FPGA is integrated. To explain our path implementation, we need to say briefly about uh, FPGA structures. The general FPGA architecture consists of three types of models, which one of them is a configurable logic block CLB, as shown in uh, the right figure, you can see. And each of these blocks has two slides. Each slide contains four LUT, or let's say bills, and they are uh, from bell A, bell B, bell C, and bell D. It is noteworthy to say that in APOF implementation, we implemented each switch stage by five to two uh, lookup tables. Therefore, we have applied uh, two kinds of patterns in our implementation. The first pattern is random pattern, and the second one is fixed pattern. Uh, the random pattern is that one of the bills can be randomly selected for each uh, lookup tables in each slice, as I explained. Uh, it means that we have four to the power of n cases. We refer to this strategy as random placement. The next one is a fixed pattern. In this strategy, uh, we can uh, place just only one uh, lookup table in each slice, like uh, just bill B, as you can see in the right figure. Then uh, we also have the option to place two lookup tables in each slice by fixing the pattern of uh, use bills like AB or AC or whatever, and uh, so on. Uh, six different placements uh, are provided here. And the final um, option is to occupy all uh, lookup tables in one slice. It means that all of the builds uh, can be used. We should mention that it is very challenging to achieve a similar routine for the path delay lines of an uh, orbital path. Applying some constraints such as fixing the placement or keeping the hierarchy can mitigate uh, such challenges. As the case study, we focus on 64-bit 1.5 IPOF as the target path primitive. We follow the uh, our in placement strategies and constructed 1011 implementation design, which means uh, that we have 1,000 FPGA with a string with random placement and 11 with the suggested fixed pattern based on uh, our mentioned strategy. Before we want to explain which design and why that has been chosen for the rest of our observation, we should briefly recall um, several path metrics that are effective in path functionality. In the following, uh, three important path metrics relevant to delay-based path designs are restated, which are considered in our practical analysis as well. Uniformity, reliability, and uniqueness. For the sake of brevity, here I focus on uniformity, which is our main criteria in this world. Considering a stateless path primitive with single bit a response, this parameter estimates the proportion of ones in the path responses. An ideal value for uniformity similar to uniqueness is uh, 50%, as it reflects the un unpredictability of the response of a stateless single bit uh, path primitive.
In this regard, by focusing on a single device, uh, which is one of the, those 100 FPGA boards, we examine all mentioned 111 designs collected, uh, 1,000 CRPs, where challenges are selected uniformly at random and extracted the uniformity of all Arbitar puff instances, as well as the interposed puff design final responses individually for each design. To finalize one of the design as the best one, we have considered the uniformity since their reliability and uniqueness uh, metrics are mostly the same. This table lists the uniformity of four finalists. For each placement strategy, random or pattern, we selected the first finalist, rand one and pattern one, as the one with the best average uniformity overall all um, arbitrary path instances while keeping the uniformity of the final response in the range of 40% to 60%. At the, at the second finalist rank two and pattern two as the one with the best uniformity for the final responses, uh, we have chosen the design identified in the rand one in the first row of this table. Using the mentioned FPGA cluster, we evaluated the chosen design on all 100 devices while uh, collecting 1 million CRP for each device. We present the result of the evaluation of our chosen 1.5 IPOF design in terms of reliability, uniqueness, and um, uniformity. It is uh, presented uh, that this design enjoys a high reliability, but not very idle uniqueness value, which is because of small process variation in FPGA implementation. Also, we can see an almost normal distribution for the uniformity of each uh, arbitrary pop instance being in the range of 31 to 54%. Uh, it is important to mention that the uniformity of the final response uh, uh, IPOF keeps its good range of uh, 45 to 55% in the chosen design. Well, here we wanted to investigate the non-uniformity effect on real data set of uh, IPOF attack. Afterwards, we investigate um, how it's going on on our real data set with existing splitting LR attack. Based on the simulation result given in previous chess paper, the splitting IPOF attack should be able to successfully, uh, which means with the high prediction accuracy and uh, the, with the success rate of one, uh, break the, uh, this uh, IPOF bargain, which means uh, one five uh, IPOF using uh, 500,000 uh, either noise free or noise conducted this attack on our 100 FPGA devices uh, with the corresponding IPA variant using the design that we have uh, chosen and mentioned uh, earlier with the larger data set of 1 million CRP with the overall reliability of 96%. Uh, we then performed the original splitting IPOF attack on our noisy and noise-free CRP sets, leading to accuracy of maximum 72% as, as you can see here. And mostly the range of the prediction accuracy will not go further than 72%. Worthy to mention that uh, we have uh, using the PyPuff library of version 007 and 8 uh, for a splitting IPOF attack. Since the splitting IPOF attack does not achieve an adequate prediction accuracy when the target, uh, targeted puff is slightly biased or non-uniform, our attention goes to other learners like ANN or MLP, which is also embedded in the mentioned PyPuff library. Here in this uh, graph, we show the result of the ANN attacks conducted to the same non-uniform real data sets. At first, we applied the naive ANN as the black box um, attack, which achieves higher prediction accuracy compared to um, splitting IPOF. The prediction accuracy of this attack is in range of 83 to 93%. On the other hand, by substituting the uh, LR learner of the splitting IPOF attack, which is presented in previous chess, with a uh, new learner, which means that with ANN learner, we achieve a more uh, stable learner's behavior leading to a higher and narrow prediction accuracy of 89% to 93%. 
It means that our learner substituting solution can solve this non-uniformity effect on real data sets. Note that in our ANN splitting attack, we have not changed any other attack settings except replacing the learner. To be more concrete, in entire attacks conducted on all 100 devices, FPJ devices, the naive ANN achieves uh, a higher prediction accuracy compared to original splitting IPOF or LR IPOF attack, while it has less accuracy in approximately half of the devices when compared to the um, our adopted uh, compared to our adopted ANN splitting attack. It can be seen that our ANN splitting attack not only leads to a highest uh, prediction accuracy, but also runs considerably faster compared to a naive uh, ANN. This short running time is due to the separating the learning process of each X or R type of layer, thereby giving the learner a chance to converge efficiently to the proper model in the back and forth process. In order to verify our results in the simulation domain and finding out the reason behind such an accuracy loss, we repeated the same attack on the same 1.5 IPA variant and also the other variant using simulated CRP sets for various amount of non-uniformity in Arbitar POFs uh, instances in both top layer and down layers. Uh, as you can see in both figures that we are considering 1K and KK models, uh, usually in the simulation domain, uh, the designers and attacker consider the ideal point, which is the 50% uniformity, and it brings the uh, good and high prediction accuracy. But as far as uh, the model gets more complex and also the non-uniformity grows more, but not very harsh, uh, the, you can see that the prediction accuracy can be decreased. I would like to investigate and verify why uh, this um, uniformity or bias can uh, influence a path learning process. We have uh, concluded with two parameters, bias parameter and bias variance trade-off parameter. So the first one is uh, the bias parameter that it is also mentioned in previous publication, but we wanted to highlight that this bias parameter, uh, parameter should be always considered in APOP additive delay model, which we mentioned earlier. Uh, here, this beta should be added to, the, to this model to have a, a, an accurate um, path model. And, but the, um, it is worth it to mention that this beta has a different um, distribution compared to uh, weight, uh, weights uh, which are uh, the representative of uh, physical characteristics. Another effective parameter is a bias variance trade-off. During regularization and minimizing the loss function or error rate, uh, there is an effective parameter, so-called bias variance of the learned weights, which should be also considered with respect to the type of the selected logistic function and the estimation approaches on the applied data sets. The bias and variance of, uh, fitting, of the fitting model generally have a you know, relation with minimizing the loss function, which is a quantifying measure to show how bad it is to get an error of a particular size of direction in the learning process. As you can see in the um, figure in this graph, based on where the learner stays, we can encounter with underfitting good fit and overfitting uh, model, which is depends on the, the bias and the variance uh, value. In more details, in the iterative batch sizes, this trade-off can cause to uh, not minimize the error rate. Consequently, the learner stays in the local minima instead of finding the uh, global minima. At the end, I would like to conclude our talk with a couple of takeaway points. Non-uniformity in the output of the path with a complex, uh, complex architecture uh, can change a theoretically successful ML attack into a model with uh, less prediction accuracy. And also it is worthy to mention that a high prediction accuracy of delay paths in, sim in simulation should be also verified in practice. 
And uh, there is no fixed rule which modeling approaches or supervised learners are uh, more capable or are stronger in PATHs learning. It depends on uh, PATHs architecture and other metrics as well. And it is also worthy to mention that accurate model of PATH, including noise and bias, brings the simulation experiments very close to the re real dummy. Thanks for your listening.